But a, a good example of something, people changing things, or I don't think it worked, um, is the recent season of House of, House of the Dragon, season two. Mm. And I'm going on second-hand information here, so don't take anything I say here as completely verbatim. On the whole, the second season was quite good, on the whole. And I know that they weren't even sure if the second season was going to be the last when they started filming. So there was a lot of rewriting going on as it was happening. And, you know, they weren't sure what the ending for season two was going to be. And then, then a lot of stuff that was going to be at the end of season two got bumped to season three where they knew the budget was going to be bigger because then that got greenlit. A whole load of things happened. So you can imagine all the dynamics that that creates uh, for writing scripts. But two of the act actresses on the show, one who plays a queen and the other one who plays her kind of advisor, I am told, um, decided to improvise and have these two characters kiss at this particular moment in a particular scene. I think it's in like episode five. And apparently that was a decision that they went with on the day. And um, I was like, it came out of nowhere in all the other previous episodes, in all the other scenes they'd done, there was no dialogue, nor was there anything in the performances with these people that suggested there was any kind of romantic or sexual tension between them or, an, or, or, or the law of attraction. There just wasn't any attraction chemistry there. It was a master-servant relationship in the context of the story. Um, Maybe there was something that was a little bit paternal, but there was nothing beyond that. So when this kiss happened, I remember us all talking about it because we were reviewing this show on a regular basis on my YouTube channel every week. And we were all like, and we were being very complimentary about this show. We love it. The writing on the whole is exceptionally good. I need to say that, exceptionally good show. And we were like, did that kiss feel like right to you? Where did that come from? Mm. And then we heard later that it was kind of improvised on the day. It was not in the script. Now. I have to say again, I don't know if that's true. It might have been in the script. But if it was in the script, then the writing was poor because there was nothing to suggest it was coming at any other point. And here's the rub. The episode after, with the next scene with these characters, it's like it never happened. <laughs> so if maybe they shot those scenes out of sequence, mm. which is why there's nothing in the follow-up scene, but there's not even a like a little sort of, you know, Death touching of the fingers when no one's looking yeah. or a look to suggest that there's flirtation going on between them. There was nothing there. There was no romantic chemistry, nothing between these. So that for me is an example. If it's true, again, secondhand information, I was not on the set. If it's true that these people improvised that on the day, the showrunner and also the person who was on the script should have said, no, this is not going to work because there's nothing to suggest this in any of the other scenes we've done. It's not in any of the scripts going forward that you two have a romantic mm -hmm. connection. You'll see when you watch it, it just doesn't work, in my opinion. Um, now, it might be that there's a big plot point because one of these characters is kind of like a witch. Yeah. So it might be that there's a plot point that's coming up where this will be explained or justified later. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. No. I think I think uh, the writing is not that poor on this show. I think that, that they, made a choice and it was a mistake to leave it in so just to be clear despite that criticism of the show for me house of the dragon is one of the best shows on television at the minute and i can see that they're trying quite hard not altogether successfully but but they're trying very hard not to make the same mistakes that game of thrones seasons seven and eight made and we could have a whole other conversation about uh, it, I, but yeah, let's not. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> so, I don't mind season seven, but season eight is. I, let's let's not get into this dark, dark, dark night.